but you already know that because I told you I was making chocolate chip cookies in that video. So I still am. I'm still drinking the same cup of coffee. It's still delicious, but we're gonna make some chocolate chip cookies, which are probably one of my favorite desserts. Um, I, fun fact, worked for a chocolate company for two years, which is awesome. And um, in that time, um, I discovered the best chocolate chip cookie recipe, which comes from Barry Calibo, which is the company I worked for. And it's the best. So this is not my recipe, this is theirs. I have um, quartered it because it makes like eight kabillion cookies. Um, and theirs is weighed out in grams. You, you know, you, you weigh all the things. So I've converted it to like cup measures, just so it's a little easier for you guys if you don't have a scale. Um, but that's what we're gonna do and it's gonna be great. So we busted out the trusty mixer. We've got all of our ingredients mised out. Mised out is like a, I should have said that. Um, mise en place is a French term that means everything in its place. So in the cooking world, when you have everything measured out and ready to go before you start, that's called your mise en place. And so we've shortened that to miesing. So I mised it out. So anyway, there you go. Fun fact, that was free. You didn't even need to go to culinary school for that. So but I did, I spent a lot of money. So let's get started. All right, so we've got mixer. We've got paddle attachment. We have got three sticks of butter, which is what we're gonna start with. Always unsalted butter. I let this sit out on the counter overnight because I want it to be soft. Now we're gonna give this a good whip to start with. So that's three sticks of butter. To that, we're gonna add one cup of granulated sugar and one cup of brown sugar. If you need to, if it's an emergency, you could do all of one or the other. Um, but I really like the mix of um, the addition of a little bit of brown sugar because it just makes the cookies feel a little more caramelly and rich. Um, and then we're gonna whip this really good until all the sugar is incorporated and there's no like lumps of sugar, particularly that brown sugar. start to lighten in color which is what we want we want um, some air to be incorporated into that um, the trick with cookies um, to get really tender cookies is to do all of the heavy mixing before you add your flour in flour has gluten and the more we whip it the tougher our cookies are gonna get right Just like our bread gets tough the more we need it so we want really tender cookies so we want to incorporate as much of that air and fluff um, during the wet ingredient stage than the dry ingredient stage so we're gonna whip this a little bit more and then we're gonna slowly add in the rest of the wet ingredients. Gonna scrape down the sides of the bowl just to make sure there's no little bits of butter hiding at the bottom that doesn't have any sugar incorporated into it. You could absolutely use a hand mixer if that's what you've got. Um, so. Or if you're really feeling tough, you can just use your hand and beat the devil out of it. So I've got about a tablespoon of vanilla. I like a lot of vanilla, but if you wanted to cut that in like half to do it like a teaspoon and a half, um, you totally could. All right, now we're gonna add our eggs in one at a time. This is four eggs, which um, makes about a cup of eggs.
keep scraping. You don't want to get to the bottom of this as we're scooping it out and just have a whole bunch of sugary butter. So we're going to scrape, scrape, scrape. Make sure we scrape down the paddle a little bit. Give it a good swipe to get all the goodie off the spatula. We're going to add in the last egg. And then whip it really, really good to get a lot of air incorporated. All right, I'm gonna bring this over to show you. Get it on the layer. You see, we've got a really nice, light, fluffy mixture. That's exactly what we want. So we're gonna scrape this bowl down. We're done with the paddle, by the way. So we're gonna scrape all this off scrape the bowl down, and then the rest of it is just gonna get folded in by hand. Butter off of it. Now, we've got two and two thirds cups of all-purpose flour, and I've got a teaspoon and a half each of baking soda and salt. And then we're just gonna add about half of it at a time and slowly fold it in. is going to give us really, really soft cookies. No one likes a tough cookie, unless you're talking about me. Bit of an arm workout. But we're getting there. Make sure you get all the flour off the bottom. Now you might be saying, Katie, I could have just popped that in the paddle and it would have been done in no time. And you're right, but um, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing right. You know what I'm saying? So to that, we're going to fold in chocolate chips. I've got like two heaping cups of chocolate chips. I just kind of emptied our baking cabinet. We've got some semi-sweet, some white, some mini semi-sweets. If you've got milk chocolate, that's great. If you wanted to put in like pecans and some, you know, dried fruit, cool too whatever you like, um, a cinnamon chip, which is a little bit elusive, but it might be nice. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna dump this, fold it in, and our cookies are ready to go. I'm just of the mind that there's no such thing as too many chocolate chips, so there you go. Right, this cookie dough is done. Hey, Elizabeth. Yeah. Do you want to lick the spoon? Yes. That's right. Mmm. So good. Pretty good. You can have that. Yes. Okay. Our other roommate doesn't like chocolate chip cookies. 
I don't get it. But the two of us eat enough to make up for her, so don't worry. All right, so we're gonna start dishing up these cookies. Um, I like to use a baking stone because that's what we have in this house. I, um, for my 16th birthday, which was half my life ago, um, I had a pamper chef party instead of like something else because I knew I was gonna be a chef. And so I've had these and they've served me well for a very long time so far. So you could put the dough in the fridge for a little while if you wanted your cookies to stay a little more ball shaped and not spread out quite as much, but I am not that patient. So we're just gonna, like a heaping cup full, spoon, or not cup full, this is not a cup, scooper full. I don't mind if they like touch. I kind of like it sometimes. You could also put this on some wax paper and roll it into a log and then cut slices of it. That's perfectly acceptable. I'm just gonna cook these one tray at a time because I want them to all be in the same part of the oven because I'm finicky like that, but you know, you do what you like. All right, first batch going in. All right, friends, these cookies are done. Um, I made about 42 um, using my little scooper, but obviously you get more with a smaller scooper and less with a bigger scooper. Um, they were in for about 15 minutes. Um, when I'm using these baking stones, I pull them out and let them cool just a little bit on the stone. Um, and then I go ahead and pull them off. So this is what we have ended up with. Some delicious chocolate chip cookies that are like a little crusty on the outside, but like still really soft and squishy in the middle, which is like honestly the best kind of cookie. So um, yeah, enjoy your cookies. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.